and today we're taking a look at how to replace your sway bar link on your car. And this is so simple, anyone could do. Everything that we use on the video, we're gonna leave a link on the description of the video. So you notice that you're getting some clunking noise on the wheel area, and you've noticed is not your tie rods, or your struts, or brakes. And you go ahead and move your sway bar with your hand, and you notice you can move it with your hand. And even though you know you're super strong, we know they're not supposed to move like that. Don't worry, today we're gonna change that. The first thing that we wanna do is press the emergency brake. If it's a foot pedal, press it down. If it's a hand lever, pick it up. Now we wanna go ahead and place the wheel shock because the last thing we want in a clear sunny day is to die. Let's go ahead and place our jack under the vehicle, but we're still not gonna raise it. If you have a wheel cover, we go ahead and remove that now. We're gonna take our nut remover bar and brake each nut and you want to do this with the car on the floor because it will be a lot easier unless you have an impact drill now that the nuts are loose we can go ahead and start jacking up the car once up we can adjust the jack stand and place it under the vehicle if you need to raise the vehicle a little bit more go ahead we can lower the vehicle slowly to our jack stand. Let's go ahead and finish removing the nuts. Go ahead and remove the wheel. And for an extra precaution, we like to place the wheel under the vehicle. In case for any reason the vehicle drops, it has something else to avoid it from hitting the floor. Now that we have access to our sway bar, we wanna put some bolt and nut loosener oil on the threads. Doing this a day before, it's gonna help you a lot. In this case, we're gonna start with the top one. We're gonna get our breaker bar, an extension, and in this case, a 19 millimeter socket. If yours is different, you can use the 19 millimeter as a reference point and go one number down or one number up until you find your correct socket size. We're gonna start with the top one because it's gonna make it easier to remove the bottom one. And the sway bar has two nuts, one in the front and one in the back. So that means we're gonna place a wrench holding the back nut and this is gonna prevent the front nut to move. And remember, the general rule of thumb is lefty loosey, righty tighty. So once it's loose, we're gonna need to place a wrench to hold the back nut. Let's go ahead and break that nut. Once broken, it's gonna be a lot easier to remove. Placing the wrench upward, it's gonna help you because the body of the car is gonna stop the wrench from moving. If yours doesn't have another nut on the back, then it may have an Allen key hole or star key hole at the back. You would have to place the Allen key or star key, hold it, meanwhile you twist and break it loose. Now we have the first nut out. Now we're gonna go to the bottom and we're gonna use the same technique. In our case, we have the two nuts so we're gonna place the wrench on the back one. And this time, we're not gonna have space to use the breaker bar, but we're gonna use two wrenches to make our own breaker bar. So once you have the wrench on the front nut, we can use any other size wrench and place it on the opening. And like that, create leverage so we can break that nut. And once broken, we can do it the old fashioned way. And remember, if in your case it has an Allen keyhole or a star keyhole, then you would place that on the bolt, hold it, and then break it with the wrench. Now it's so loose we can take it off with our hands. And now you can show them how powerful you are. You might need to tap the sway bar a little bit 
with a hammer or a rubber mallet. Or you might have to jack up the suspension system a little bit up so it could come out a lot easier. In our case, that's what we did. As you can see, the sway bar was bad. It moves freely, which is not supposed to. As you can tell, the new one has no play. Now we're ready to place the new one and we're basically going to do everything backwards. You might have to raise the suspension a little bit more because remember the other one had a little play so it could move around. The new one is not going to have that play and that's exactly what we did. Once in on both sides we can place the nut with our hands. We can use the two wrench method to tighten it or if you have an allen key or star key, the star key and the wrench. Once we get to the final snug, that's when you want to use your power to tighten it in. If you have a torque wrench, then you want to torque it to the cording pounds on your owner's manual. To tighten the bottom, we're going to use the two wrench method again. And to tighten the top, we can use the breaker bar. And now you're a pro at sway bar link replacement. So you can pat yourself in the back and call yourself a boss. Don't forget, if you liked the video, please give us a thumbs up. That really helps. If you have any questions, place them in the comment section below. Don't forget to subscribe, follow us on social media. Thank you for watching. And here's a link to our latest video.